Hey lovies, welcome to another episode of Witchy Wednesday. And I'm so excited for today's video. We are finally unboxing the Seasons of the Witch Beltane Oracle that I got yesterday. So I waited just one more day so we can unbox this together today. And I will be doing this flip through thoughts, things like that. You guys let me know your thoughts um, and I will do a comparison between the first one being Samhain, Yule, this one, how they play with each other. I think in an interview, Juliet Diaz has um, explained that this can be a really large kind of master seasonal deck. So I know that they kind of play with each other, especially if you, you know, pick out the same card. So it's really interesting to see how the progression of the cards go um, numerically. Before we dive into this deck, I want to talk about the cover for a moment. So in this particular collection of decks, the cover of the Beltane SOTW Oracle deck, it just speaks volumes to me. <laughs> it's so important that we acknowledge and continue to acknowledge the practitioners of color. And there is so much rich and deep and inspiring traditions that not only makes its way to modern culture, but has been a strong presence in our community, right? I mean, we get a lot of ideas, traditions, practices from ancient, ancient racial traditions. So as a Latina American, it's vital that I incorporate Boricuan traditions into my practice. And Juliet Diaz um, also is, I think, I believe she is a Boricua Cuban. Um, so, you know, at also her being um, a Latina, I know that it was important for her to really create a cover that speaks for diversity. And this cover, it really just looking at it, it just sparks the fire of our ancestral practice. And it's covered to me, it resonates the ideals of heritage, right? Like beautiful heritage, along with the turning of the wheel. So I will end here um, with the first two launches. Um, so Samhain being first, like I mentioned, you know, a quick Google search, Amazon search, YouTube, there was a lot of concerns about diversity in the first one. They kind of rectified it in the season of the witch, but here we have a cover that really resonates that passion for diversity. So again, just even on Amazon, you will see that, you know, there were a lot of upset practitioners ex expressing their disappointments. So the creators had to actually make changes to an already existing working deck, which is so interesting. So what does this mean, right? When we speak words into existence, we make the change. Well, let me repeat that. When we speak words into existence, we make change the change. So on this channel, we continue to support more unity, more education, more creation, and most importantly, more diversity. So I'm really excited to open this up, um, look through it, get your thoughts, and let's go. Okay, so opening this up, couple changes from um, Seasons of the Witch Samhain to Yule, which I'm looking forward to seeing maybe the changes here, updates, did we go back? So I know one of the changes before we even get into this is that with Seasons of the Witch, I love the layout of the actual deck itself. So I know that it was broken up into three sections, the familiars, the witch's tools, and the the sabbat, which was Samhain. Um, here we kind of, in Yule, we kind of lost that. We also lost the reversals. I don't read in reversals, but um, it was nice to have that options for people who do. So the Samhain, just the book in itself, felt more 
more cohesive, more rich, where Yule, it was a little bit shortened, a little bit more um, straight to the point. Um, not saying both guidebooks are great and we'll look at Beltane together. It has a lot of illustrations, it's colored, it's really fun. It's a really cute little book to read and get inspiration for, for the Sabbath. So let me pull this aside. Look again at the cover. It's just stunning. Love the butterflies. Love like this energy of spring, this energy of May Day. Um, I love the bees resilience, which I love about Beltane. And we'll get into that in a little bit. Um, yeah, and a beautiful woman of color here. So I'm just loving this. I really hope that the inside is like maybe orange or yellow or some type of, I think it's probably gold actually, since this is gold foiling, red and green. So I'm so excited. Beltane is my absolute, oh, this is hard to get out. Oh my goodness. What I was saying is that Beltane is my absolute favorite Sabbath. I have a lot of great memories with the coven there. I have a lot of great personal um, memories with the Sabbath. And for me, I am most energetic. I'm creating. I am full blown just nonstop through the month of April, like our month in May. It's just, <laughs> I tend to create the most and have the best ideas throughout that time. So loving the box. So let's just do a box um, comparison. So beautiful. They're all full moons for the most part. Really beautiful here. So these are the three boxes. Okay, here's our guidebook. And here's our cards. Ooh, I love the bees. More bee um symbolization the cards aren't stuck that's a really nice sign and then the gold gilding is just beautiful just beautiful okay so here's our boxes the deck is produced by rockpool which really i love their their quality of cards really nice and glossy really like has a really nice slip to it so rockpool is awesome all right, so let's just take a look at the guidebook real quick. I love the SOTW guidebooks, like cute little illustrations like this. They have, it's just really nice. Like I I just love even using this as a pool. The tarot layouts are really nice. I use them all the time. So let's just take a look. I'm loving the symbology of the birds because for me, Beltane is a whole month that I really work with my patron goddess, Rhiannon. So, so just opening up the book and seeing the birds, it's really, really nice calling to me and calling to how I practice Beltane. So you have your contents, more like illustrations. It's just so cute. Love this. We start with it looks like a May Day festival. Okay, so let's just read the introduction quickly. And so the wheel turns again. This time we set our eyes upon Beltane, the seasons of abundance, fertility, passion, and growth. From day one, it was our intention to create a specific deck for each of the Sabbaths, collectively known as the Wheel of the Year. The Witch's New Year begins on Samhain and flows to Yule, Imbolc, Ostara, Beltane, Midsummer, and Lamas, and finally ends with Mabin. Our first two decks, Samhain and Yule, felt so appropriate for the beginning of our journey, but now we've jumped around a bit because we were both in the midst of welcoming more fun and freedom into our lives. Exactly, Beltane. I'm really, I really wish they would have had like Imolk. In Ostara, that Imok specifically would have been a beautiful, beautiful deck for that fire and rebirth energy, that phoenix energy, that, you know, coming into the new year and all that kind of good stuff. So I really would have loved to see that drawn out by Giada. But I think <laughs> releasing a deck, you know, so quickly like that, it kind of loses its... its I don't know, it loses its magic, it loses kind of worth and importance to me. It's, you know, when things come out so quickly, you know, you kind of just use it for a little bit, set it aside, use a new one. At least here you can dive into it and work with it for a while until the next one comes. 
So Beltane's bright energy felt like natural fit for where we were in our respective journeys right now. Seasons of the Witch Beltane Oracle is a kind of deck you'll want to grab when you're ready to make yourself a priority. That's so awesome. I love that. Love that. Love that. Love that. Beltane, the reason why I just love it so much, it's full of passion. It's full of creativity. It's full of that mojo that like, if you still have been struggling through the darker half of the year, um, still been kind of like lazy from Mule, from Imolk, just getting together, you've got a little bit of that spark in Ostara. Like Beltane is full out joyous, meeting with friends, being right in the midst of spring. Things are starting to grow. I'm wanting to be outside. I'm wanting to plant. It's just... It's such an amazing, like, soul-brightening Sabbath. So I'm not mad that <laughs> we skipped right to Beltane. So, oh, this is this is new, I think. Beltane themes, Beltane themes and areas of focus. Abundance, creativity, fertility, growth, love, lust, marriage, other world, passion, pleasure, Psychic ability, purification, sensuality, sex, sexuality, union, vision, warmth, and youth. And here's another bird. Beautiful. So right away before we even start, we have the three birds of Rhiannon, which, again, she's always, she's so present in Beltane. So this really speaks to me right away. So how to use the cards. So I don't think, let's just go into the contents. I don't think that they broke it up into, or maybe, because in Samhain, it, it started with familiars. So if you see here, you can see that it starts with B, whereas you, I believe it was the bear. And then it goes into the witch's tools, right? So here, it's all about like um, familiars, what witches work with, and then actual tools. So... Um, I'm not too sure if I see that here. Oak, Oracle, Orgasm, Sacred Waters, Sacrifice. Okay, so like these are maybe ritualistic things. And then it ended with things that had to do with the actual Sabbath, which is Beltane. So um, Sun God, Surrender, The Lovers, Vision. So Sex Magic, Self Worship. So yeah, it kind of goes with that theme that I really like. So start with familiars, start with the practice, and then end with, you know, things that resonate with Beltane. Fun. How to use the cards and vocations. Using the cards beyond Beltane, which is so true. So let's see. Mm, intention cards, altar cards, which is pretty much what I love using these cards for. Then you have the spreads. So Beltane card spreads. Your three card spread. Beltane cross spread. Maypole spread, really cool for shifting perspectives, really cool. Flower crown spread for clarity in difficult times, love that. Self-worship spread for understanding your gifts. Goddess spread for finding the right path. Creation spread for starting something new. Love, love, love all of these spreads, really, really cool. And then we go into our Beltane cards which is really nice. So we won't really look at that. Knowledge myths and things like that. So it should have, if you were interested, it should have in here something about the creators. Hmm, that's interesting. I don't, don't see it. But anyway, if you, were, if you were interested, the creators are Lorraine and Juliet. So Lorraine Anderson. And Juliet Diaz, illustrated by no other than Giada Rose, which is beautiful. Just amazing work. So, all right. So I gave you guys the boxes and what they look like together. Really, really cool. So we'll put those away. Okay, so the first one that we have is the B. So the difference is here is that with Samhain, we started with the actual Samhain. 
or All Hallows' Eve. Then we moved into the actual familiar of the Sabbath, which was Bear for Yule. And then for Beltane, we have this beautiful image. Flower crown, and it's the bee. And I love the bee for Beltane. I find it perfect. I never actually worked with the bee archetype for Beltane, and I'm definitely going to start. But to me, bees are like the bringer of messages to the divine, right? They're all about sending messages, going to their queen bee, and they work in unity together to create kind of the bigger picture and work together to create something so powerful, so strong, such a strong foundation as the honeycomb. Um, and they're all about strength, right? Inspiration, l resilience. And bees can go on and go on, and they're such hard workers. And Beltane, along with all the other things that we just read about, is always about resilience and unapologetically being yourself, right? That's where Rihanna comes into, all about the resilience and the things of what happens to her and her ability to forgive after years and years of just harassment and, and bullying and being mistreated so the b really resonates with me with that because there's such hard workers working together for a common goal and the messengers for the divine okay so for Samhain we have altar then we have candle magic then we have a bonfire so Again, a, a lot of ways that I can use this is that I actually use the card for spell work or maybe like a weekly card pull. So I can pull this and if I can, I can start a bonfire and work with the card as far as the week. So the card gives you kind of an activity, a spell, a feeling to kind of work with throughout the month of May. So that way you are inspired by Beltane. So I love this fire energy again the bee love the diversity here ancestors cardinal medicines boundaries beautiful boundaries are sewn into the parts of who you are for they are not to be crossed interesting okay so this is a little bit more um this has a little bit more continuity. So I love with Samhain, it's a little bit more solitary. Picking for apples, kind of getting into the mood of divinatory work. And then with Yule, it's more of ceremony, of the ceremony of lights. The, you know, um, working ritualistically for the rebirth of the sun. And then here we have chanting with a group. And I love the power of three. It's almost like a three cups, very celebratory, things like that. This was something that like you will often see, um, you know, Beltane, lots of group activities, lots of um, celebrations, things like that. So a little bit of a shift from the Sabbaths. And that's exactly what I want to see here. Okay, Banshee, Chills, and the Cow. The Cow is beautiful. I love that they all have flower crowns, so pretty. And the bee is still present. I think there's literally bees on every card so far. May the embrace of all that's nurturing you awaken in all that you are becoming, which is really, really cool. My birthday's coming up. I'm a Taurus, so I love the cow, love the horns, love the that type of horned animal vibe. Okay, so here we have Bat, Cold Moon, and Creation. Um, the creation is beautiful. Love that. This gives me a little bit more of an Imok feel, but love the artwork. Okay, Black Cat, Contemplation, Earth Worship. Earth Worship is great. What a beautiful card. It's perfect for the spring. It's perfect for coming into um, Taurus season. That's all about earth, earth worship. 
being in tune with nature, going for more walks. It's getting nicer out. Things are in bloom. Beautiful time for earth worship. Broom, crone, embodiment. This is the embodiment card. Candle magic, darkest hour, the fae. Again, bringing up that Rhiannon um, goddess energy. She is the queen of the fae. Not everything is as it seems. Be cautious, dear one, for there is a story beneath the tale. So when you pull this, if you are doing a single card pull, it may be a good time to learn about the fae and how to work with the fae efficiently um, throughout the month of May. Cauldron Dove Medicine Fertilizing. Interesting. So, yep, a perfect time to fertilize. I love this. Um, I believe this is like a six of cups energy for me in tarot where you have like the mother and the daughter and you're building traditions and it's kind of running on that nostalgia. Food is, is not the only thing that nourishes you, dear one. Be mindful of what you feed your soul. Perfect. Love that. So this is also great. Another kind of continuous story here. So you have the coming of winter. So again, with a little bit more of a solace, the, the Samhain deck is definitely in that type of vibe. Then you have falling in love. I love this. This is like maybe giving me like um, Oak King type or like Holly King vibes. Um, and then, and again, love this reminds me of Rhiannon and the white horse and then you have the fire festival so it's almost like a solace coming into the relationship between you know having the goddess pregnant with child and then the rebirth of the sun and then you have her coming into herself with self-love as a fire festival really really cool so I'm showing you these cards as if I can as a progression but of course you can work with them on their own to see you know, to read their meanings to you. Crystal and Herbs Family Flower Crown. Flower Crown is so important for the May Queen. Wear your power proudly and unapologetically. And ooh, didn't we just talk about that? It's all, Beltane is all about being unapologetic. Like be yourself, be you, and people will love you for being honest with yourself. For it is your birthright and is your eternal like the soul. So really cool there. Dark Moon, Father Christmas, the goat. Beautiful. Fearless, I am on the path I choose for. I've never been laid astray, always finding the way. It's great. Divination, feasting, goddess. Make sure to feel in your bones for you are what you believe. Love this. When you get that pull in your daily reads definitely need to work with the goddess a little bit more it's giving you a little bit of a signal to kind of either give some gratitude or just simply make some more connections elders forest the green man love this the green man all about beltane green man and the goddess all that i desire comes to me easily and effortlessly i know this to be true for i am abundant in all that i do very very cool Elements, frost, growth. Interesting. Again, a little story here for the elements, the frost that's coming from um, from the snow, from Yule, and then it's melting during Imolk and Ostara, and then we finally have growth. A little bit of growth in Ostara, but mainly more abundance here in growth. Inside myself, I've sown beauty with wounds which speak of my immortality and the expansive eternal song softly bellowing in my spirit. Really cool. Frog gathering, hand fasting, hand fasting, beautiful. It's a typical ceremony that you will find in Beltane for it truly is a lover's sexual unity Sabbath. Pulls pulse through all that I am. No hidden form is left untouched. I am willing. I am risking. For I yearn for unity spilled lustrously upon my lips. Beautiful. 
And I love that they have two females here hand fasting. Shows more diversity in sexual preferences. Graveyard gratitude, honey. Love this. Honey, what we make from working hard, what we make from the bees, what we make from steady, steady manifestations and willing. The sweetness of you swells in the grace of your pool. Oh, so beautiful, lethal. I'm going to have to read up on this one a little bit more because that's interesting. A little blurb for that. Greet in darkness, hearth, indulgence. Another story for the Sabbath, more ancestral work, doing um, shadow work, reaching inside. The hearth is more ritualistic to bring things into the home, stay up all night, be cozy with your family. And then again for Beltane, it's all about that abundance, all about that indulgence. You're worth every desire, every dream, demand that is yours. Demand what you need. Speak those words into existence. Grief, light, inner power, perfect. Perfect for Samhain, the light, perfect for Yule, and then that inner power. Again, like I like I mentioned, once you kind of get out of that rut, Beltane is such a good time to, it's not forceful. It, I feel for me, it just happens. Your inner power just shines automatically. Let it be known, no will or desire is more powerful than I embodied. That's I love this. I love this for confidence. Beautiful. All right. Haunted merriment. Love spell. Very cool. Love spell. Love the honey. Let the honey of your soul swell in depths of love. Very, very cool. Next up, we have the healer, mistletoe, and maiden. This is the cover photo demand what is yours and take back what is taken love that i'm gonna go a little bit faster intuition mother mary manifestation perfect story here love this sometimes they come as a breeze upon your fingertips at other times it dwells in the depths of your soul it is dance between you and spirit that magic unfolds love this beautiful Journey, Offerings, Maypole. Beautiful. This is so fun. Love doing this, especially when there's a big crowd, children, all ages, male, female. It's all about all of that unity coming together. And for the fertility, so the may, the pole is the phallic. And how we dance around with the ribbons is to represent the female and the aspirations to try to get, you know, um, some fertility there some pregnancies and things like that so it's raising up that power around the phallic symbol and that's what the maypole really represents mischief ornament milk and butter love the artwork is just stunning giada is so good so good next natural spirits perseverance and morning dew love that morning dew so beautiful. That throat chakra. What stillness does the silence of one's steadiness bring? So nice. Interesting about being a little bit quiet in the morning. So nice. Owl, poinsettia, oak. It's beautiful. Potion spells, reindeer medicine, oracle. Spirit of the other worlds, tell me the tale of the unknown. Tell me the tales of the forbidden. So this is a call to do some divination, protection, remembering, orgasm. Key role in sex, love magic. The trust, trust, thrust your body, elevate your spirit, open the gates to your renewal. Love that. Love this. So good. Pumpkin ringing the bells, Pegasus. Love the 
fairy type unworldly kind of images that they bring rebirth self-care phoenix phoenix would have been great for emok but i love this um as well as rebirth so this is also a really nice set of cards here rebirth at Samhain which I don't really I never really resonated with rebirth at Samhain I get that it's the witch's new year it's a new coming of the wheel but rebirth really to me resonates in Imolk self-care self-care really should have been with Beltane but not mad at it because I can see the progression here that they want to do so it's really going to be interesting when i get the middle ones when i get emulk and ostara to see how it really spreads out but i can see the progression and phoenix with being more alive um during the beltane season reflections silent night primal love this that primal energy there is no other way around but through the very truth that lives within you Yep, yep, yep. Ritual, snow, ribbons. Here's a green man and the goddess here. For it lives in the silk of my binding, the knots in my truth, the eye of becoming, the witness swallowed in stillness. Another call to stillness. Interesting. Rooted, solstice, rowan. Love this. Another really nice spread here for the three Sabbaths. There is no need to fear, dear one. Protected you are and protected you will always be. Love this. So pretty. Okay. Almost done. Seduction. I think there's 40? 44? 44. Seduct seduction. Squirrel medicine. Sacred waters. Beautiful. Silence, star, sacrifice. Oh, this is deep. Love that. You must find the ebb and flow of your life within your very self. Embracing all, embracing it all is embracing truth. Embracing it all is embracing truth. Interesting. I have to read more about that. That feels like a really powerful card. Spider, storm, self-worship. I love this. Self-worship, which is totally fine. Got to love yourself first. And you got to take time to really make sure to love yourself. We always say that. We buy oils and perfumes and things like that to promote self-love. But really, really practice on that. And this is a great time to do that. My hands fold as I speak to the stars, watching as the sky holds its breath. It's in stillness that I find all that I am and all of the divinity within me. And I love the bee. Speaking of messages from the divine, so beautiful. Okay. Third harvest, telling stories, sex magic. Yes, sex magic. Love this orgy type thing here. Having a ball. Love this. All females, great love love it's just so, something so awesome about this card that's all females being very sexual sexual beings that female passion energy that I, I can just sense the raising of power in this situation i draw on my body with the invisible blade carved with the bliss of lustrous teeth it is in the allure that i will meet blood and flesh oh that one's sick. That card was a really good. Transformation, tranquility, the stone circle. Awesome. Love this. Love the fire. It's a fire festival. Especially a lot with, you know, building bonfires. Um, speaking of fire, sun god. Um, jumping over them for the celebration of unity and things like that. So relative. The underworld. Turning inward. Sun god. Beautiful. 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 Of course, our sun god here manifesting all that is in the growth right now the veil unknown surrender interesting layout of cards love this surrender with all the flies and all of that red that passion there's nothing more blissful than the act of letting go so good of setting yourself free of all that doesn't serve you perfect Perfect, perfect for Beltane. I mean, we were supposed to do that freaking in, 
in um, the last full moon. So, and it was, it's just another reminder that if it's done, if whatever you have been meaning to do, big, you know, um, goals, aspirations, projects, if it's done, let it go. Don't keep thinking about it. Don't keep adding to it. I'm a creature of adding to things when it's done, need to let it go. And if it's not serving a purpose for you, maybe it's just not the right time to do that. So really by letting go, you can really, really enjoy the fruits and the abundance of Beltane, just maybe not in that way of that specific goal. And that's fine. It's just not your time to do that yet. Voices, wise men, the lovers. Interesting. Wow, so cute. Okay, so we're coming to the end. Um, just some thoughts here is that, especially with the lovers and things like that and a lot of celebrations, this deck is very, very Beltane driven. Besides maybe a handful of cards, it doesn't very veer off and let you kind of come to your own thoughts and your own ideas and maybe a different way of thinking about Bel Beltane. What I've seen so far is pretty much spot on. So if this is perfect, if you are a beginner to the Sabbaths, perfect way to work with the deck and get the feeling of what the Sabbath really means. When you become a little bit more of a um, experienced practitioner, you start seeing the Sabbaths a little bit differently because you've been living them and doing your own thing and what it means to you, especially if you're in different parts of the world. So just saying that, that this is a really good deck for beginners of practicing that really um, nice turn of the wheel celebrations. So um, coming to the last ones, which wreath vision. Love these guys. Again, a lot of celebrations, things like that. And these are the last ones. Wolf, Yule Log, Wildcat. Love the horns, ferns, beautiful. Be still and tune in for there is something afoot lurking alongside you. Interesting. Really, really cool. Loved the the cards. Here are the backs of all of them. They kind of went away from the hands and did the bees, which I love. I love that. So now <laughs> I feel like if they do something a little bit different, these two are going to stick out, but maybe not because you'll have some differences in, in between. So really, really loved this deck. Um, let me know what you guys think. And I can't wait to see which one's next. I don't think that they released that yet. I may be wrong. But yeah, really big fan. Love the deck. Can't wait to work with it more. Maybe if you guys are interested, I'll come in with a members only kind of tarot um, spread pool and we can talk about it a little bit more. But until the next one, bye guys.